Hello and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout 3. I'm Scarlet and uh, we're here at Rivet City. And there is someone we need to talk to. In the lab. And this is of course providing I can navigate this place. Because it is a bit of a labyrinth. There we go. Aft hangar. There he is. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating, but if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Don't go to- You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? That depends. What exactly are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons. Synthetic humanoids. Programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Interesting. But what does all this have to do with me, exactly? You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere, in the Capital Wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I'll be compensated for my services, right? Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. What a salesman. Sure, I'll look into finding your missing android for you. Excellent! Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. So tell me about the Commonwealth, aka Boston, Massachusetts. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. Hmm. The, uh... Gameplay footage from Fallout 4 gives me a somewhat of an idea. Gotta go now. Of course you do. 
too far away. I'm going to yes. need you to move some equipment shortly. There was some sort of bad and that's a bubble head the right there. The gunfire went on for over an hour. That's why I'm glad I'm intelligence. It takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn. Intelligence plus one. Man here. Nice. Good old Rivet City. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. Well. What do you want? Don't. We'll come back for Doctor Lee another time. Right now. Hello, Mister. Hi. Right now, I'm going to see what the marketplace has to offer. Good to see you. Because I've got it on good authority that there is a Chinese assault rifle for sale. If I can uh, manage to find exactly where I need to go to get out of this freaking stairwell. There we are. Here we are. I need a drink. I really hope you're not Hello, Flack, my good man. There. This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Aren't you afraid someone will use your own guns to rob from you? A very real-world problem. Here, in Rivet City? I'm packing, and most of the rest of these guys are packing. Not to mention security. And that's about as American as you can get. What sort of guns you got for sale? Need to do some killing, eh? Well, specifically... Bingo! I want these Chinese assault rifles. So you can keep the pistols. And I'll just peruse this for a while. Be right back. A pleasure doing business with you. You too. Can you repair my stuff? No problem at all. I'll have you put together just a sniper rifle. Gotta run. If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. Mm hmm. So, I picked up those two Chinese assault rifles. A rather crappy hunting rifle, just to patch up the one I've already got, as well as, well I sold off quite a few of my grenades, and I notice I've got a couple of these, explosives and energy weapons, nice, and I also got a lot of ammunition, plenty of 44s, shotgun shells and 308s, as well as a bunch more 556. So now, let's put some of that to good use, and take a trip up north. Because, up in the, uh, basically directly north from here, about there, I've got it on good authority that there is a unique hunting rifle. And I've been putting this one to pretty good use. So, a unique one could do very nicely for me. So, I don't know if the mutants down there have respawned yet or not. But, I won't drag you guys through the entire trek up north, so... I'll resume whenever something interesting happens. Hi guys! We'll get here eventually. Ooh. Now, are there raiders there? Yes, there are. Let's see if I'm getting any better at sniping. Because my track record is not exactly stellar. You're just standing there. Nice. 
your buddy just exploded and you don't even bat an eyelid. Alright. Gotcha. Alright, let's not waste any more 308 ammunition. Okay, we're heading with the Magnum. Yep, I knew there was going to be at least one more of you. Where is you? There you are. You've just got a sledgehammer. Grenade! Ooh, I love when they Ow! You nearly blew yourself up. There's someone else out there. Oh! Awesome. Now thanks to that son of a bitch, I am very, very hurt. Not anymore. But there's really not much here. So, on we go. Ah, Robo Brain. Whoa. Crippled the head. And blasted the head halfway across the capital of wasteland. I know that place. Whoa! No more of that. Yep. Alright, where's my knife? There's my knife. I haven't used this thing yet. And there's a lot of you. There's the dude. Oh, Jesus. I forgot that she's got... Yep, that's good. And... Bang! Damn it. Oh jeez, she picked it up again. No. Oh wow. Alright. That's a few of them. Never underestimate red roaches in a pack. Okay. You. You. Chris Blatt. There's a few more of them around here. I forgot that she had a minigun. Where are you? That was a rock. Now where is she for all that? That's a stump. All that, and ah, oh, there we are. Plenty of five mil rounds, and that's really all I need. Unless she's got more up here. Yep. Oh come on, she's a crazy kook. And I'll lose camera for that. What's over there? Something exploded. Whoa, Jesus. Gaboom. And you're still just standing here. I'm not looking for trouble or conversation either. Uh huh. You've got nothing. Well, you're certainly very chill.
And those mines didn't do terribly much damage to me either. Weird. Ah, uh, there it is. About freaking time. The Republic of Dave. The Wasteland is just full of crazy characters, isn't it? How are you doing? Hey, you! Stop! What do you want from the Republic of Dave? What is this place? This is the Republic of Dave. Duh! It's named for President Daddy. But you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. I think I'd like to meet Dave. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. Okay, follow me. Righto. Lead the way, kid. This might be, might seem like the smallest sovereign nation in the world, but there is one smaller in real life. I forget the actual name of it, but it basically consists of one person, their house and yard, and they are their own nation, or at least state. I'll post a link to it down in the description. There he is. Have you heard about Dave, mister? Um, yeah, he's kind of right here. Hello. Hi there, honey. Bye. Have you spoken to Dave? I'm about to. I am Dave, president of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship? Asylum or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? I'm an ambassador for the Wasteland. That's just what I would expect to hear from another spy from the Wasteland. You have one hour to leave the Republic of Dave or be executed. God damn it. Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Well, I'm really only here for one thing. Hello. That's secure for a reason. Man, yep. the Brahmin smell awful today. Alright, just because I don't want to miss. Alright, she's leaving the room anyway. You know what, can I do it with this? Stop moving your head. Damn, it's God damn it. Ain't none of my business. Oh. 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 Yeah. Bang. Alright. Plenty of that. I'll take that. And the key. Pin. <laughs> Chinese pistol, really? Alright, bottle cap. Oh, painless. Ah! Yep. Ah! Keep shooting those pop guns. See how well it does see. Take your 10 mils though. There you are. Right, you're not gonna be any more of a problem. This is hope. Yep. Well, that didn't exactly go well. But, at the very least, my Chinese assault rifle is coming along nicely. As well as old painless. So I'll stick you there, in place of my hunting rifle. And the great... what the... No, oh, that's just firing range. The great thing about this gun is that it's got zero spread. So, once I get 100 gun skill, bullets will go exactly where I put them. Now, what else can we do? Move the marker. Well, we've got an outstanding quest for Moira, so we'll go do that. Hi there. 
I got my eye on you. Uh-huh. Yep. So are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priests? Or some sort of scaly community center? I slip the, the observer in with the eggs, and they're none the wiser. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I've been getting a good signal, but what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? Well, they're descended from local crabs. I'll call them some pseudo-Latin name. That's very scientific of you. Personally, I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp, perhaps. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Three stealth boys and a shady hat. Let's continue research. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I wouldn't ask if I couldn't fix you up afterwards, of course. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Um... I'm gonna hate myself for this, but what do you mean by about handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Mm-hmm. Now, what are you selling? Absolutely. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Mm-hmm. I'm not supposed to talk. All right, this is probably the first and only time someone has willingly broken a leg. Yep, so that took me down a lot. So we'll heal generally. So that the next time I do that, I'll break a leg as well as get taken down to less than 50% health. Or not. There we go. Your suffering shall exist no longer. Yep, let's hobble back to Moira. Well, how do you feel? This really hurts, you know. Oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Pain's an abstract. I stay focused on the definable things, like survival. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh! How can you be walking around like this? Okay, 
I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. The last chapter is about mole rats, correct? Mole rats can brew into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. I'll test the repellent for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. All right. See ya. We'll get that done in the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. I'm Scarlet. See you later.